All right, guys, let's get in some Friday live show for tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, as you guys are watching this, we're going to be breaking down 19, nope, 17 top 25 games, 7 p.m. Central. As you're watching this tonight, Friday night, come join us for our live show. Trey, let's look at our leaderboard. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I am 0-0 at the moment. I gave out Seattle minus 5.5 going up against UT Arlington, and it's not looking so good at all for us. I expected Seattle to kind of dominate in this game. It was a pretty long uh, travel for UT Arlington going out there, but it does not matter because they're getting blown out. So uh, we'll just see how the second half goes. Yeah, and I have battled my way back. Back up to 500. I gave out Rutgers minus six and a half going up against Michigan. This game wasn't close. Start out 10 to one. They were covering the entire game besides the first minute and 30 seconds of the game. So an absolute no sweat bet. Rutgers won by 30 points. Trans go to the player props. I can start us off over there. Yeah, and I got hooked over here. I gave out Doug McDaniel over 13 and a half points going up against Rutgers. Daniel, he only scored 13, uh, so we lost on the hook. Very sad. No bueno. It was nice to see him being back on the road, though, but Michigan, they are just abysmal. Yeah, and I had Bruce Thornton of Ohio State to go over his total points. A scratch very late. Someone commented and said, no Bruce Thornton tonight. I was wondering where my line was, and that's where it was. Bruce Thornton did not play for Ohio State, so I'm going to stay at 0-0. But it did not matter, Trey, because the group play, we both gave out Ohio State minus two, and they dominated Nebraska in the last four minutes uh, finishing off that game. I think they won by 10 points, but it was getting dicey there in the first half and towards the middle of the game in the second half. But uh, Ohio State finished the last four minutes. It's a very tough team. Jameson Battle had a great night shooting, so we both did go 1-0 for the group play there. Let's go to the group play for tomorrow. It's a Mac kind of night on a Friday night. Bowling Green going up against Ohio. Ohio's minus eight, over under 150. I'm going to have you start. Man, this is going to be a fun game. The MAC always delivers, not only in football, but also in college basketball. Uh, these two teams, they've actually played once already this season. It was obviously at Bowling Green. and Bowling Green, they did win that game by five points. So um, home court matters that much in college basketball, yes. But to flip the points this much, I don't think so. Give me Bowling Green here, plus eight. Uh, I feel like they're going to win this game at the free throw line. Bowling Green, they are ranked in the top 50 in college basketball and free throw attempts per game in Ohio. Apparently, they love the foul because they allow a ton of free throw attempts per game. If Bowling Green can slow this game down, make their free throws, and drag it out, I feel like they're going to cover this spread, possibly win. So give me Bowling Green here, plus the points, plus eight. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from a side in this game. Um, like you said, eight points for Ohio seems like a ton. I would probably lean Bowling Green if I was to take a side. But it's the MAC Conference. Uh, these teams are very streaky, but whenever they're hitting their shots – this game's going to go flying over the over. I think this is going to be in the 160s, 170s. I'm going to take the over 150. Both these teams can score 80-plus very easily. Bowling Green especially. Ohio's been very good at home this season as well. So I'm going to take the over 150. I'm going to stay away from the spread. So Trey's on Bowling Green plus eight. I've got the over under of or over of 150 in the game. Trey, let's go to our place for tomorrow. Have you start us off over there. Yeah, and I'm actually going to do something I don't usually do. Give me the biggest game on the slate, Ooh. this Dayton versus Loyola-Chicago game. And this is going to be an entertaining game to watch. Both teams. They're only one game behind the number one team in their conference. So this game is huge coming down to the final week of the regular season. And Dayton, they come in this game with a 22-5 and record. They're also 15-12 and ATS. And the Flyers, they are 5-4 and on the road. That's earned them the number 25 ranking in Ken Palm. And Laurel of Chicago, they enter this game with a 20-7 and record. They're also 15-12 and ATS. And the Ramblers, they are 13-2 and at home this year. And that's earned them the number 96 ranking in Ken Palm. So this is a matchup between two top 100 Ken Palm mid-major programs. So we have to expect an intense battle here. So I'm just going to take the home pups here in this game. Give me Loyola Chicago plus one and a half in this game. I love that we're getting points because I expect this crowd to be absolutely wild and that's going to propel us to the cover here in this game. Yes, I doubt that Sister Jean will be there, but she's going to be there in spirit. And I feel like the defense is going to be the catalyst to this cover here because Loyola Chicago they force opponents to shoot 39.8% from the field. And if their defense can show up here early in this game, I think that their offense will be propelled playing at home here. And then we should just cruise to a hard-nosed win. But I'm just going to take the point and run to the hill here because the Ramblers, they absolutely dominate on the glass. They're ranked in the top 100 in defensive and offensive rebounding. And whenever we look at Dayton, they're kind of small and they struggle at controlling the painted area. So I think that's going to be a big difference maker for here this game. And I love that they're at home. So give me a Lola Chicago plus one and a half against Dayton. Yeah, Trey, I like that play there. Uh, for my play today, we're going to the Ivy League. I'm going to be looking at Harvard going on the road to face off against Brown. I'm taking Brown 
on the money line to win this game outright at home. They're a small favorite. If you want to lay the two points, they'll most likely win this game by at least two points. But I don't want to mess around with the small spread, so we're just going to take them on the money line. The Brown Bears in the Ivy League have been the scariest team over the last couple weeks. They are a juggernaut killer. I took them as my dog of the week last weekend against Cornell, and they took down the top team in this conference, winning that game by four points as a 12-point underdog. They're coming into this game winning three consecutive games as an underdog, and this is the first time they've been the favorite since February 10th. And the last time these teams met, Harvard lost on their home floor by two points to this Brown team as an underdog. They were three-point underdogs. They won the game by two. Brown is playing the best basketball of the season. This is a very athletic team. They can score with the best of them. Both these teams are fighting for that last spot in the Ivy League tournament because only the top four teams play in that tournament. And these teams are sitting at fourth and fifth right now, tied for five and six each. With the way Brown's been playing, it's hard not to love the Bears in this game. Brown, they also don't have a look-ahead spot. They play Dartmouth on Saturday. Remember, again, these Ivy League teams, they play back-to-back nights. They play the worst team in the conference on Saturday. Harvard, on the other hand, they play Yale, which many think is the best team in the conference. They are currently tied at the top. You can't look at the stats in this game because it's going to tell you Harvard's going to win, but sometimes the stats don't matter. Sometimes you have to rely on the stats. Sometimes you just have to watch the games and trust your gut. This Brown team is playing the best basketball of the season. They're going to win this game against Harvard, and they will have a shot in the Ivy League tournament to make the big dance. Give me Brown on the money line as the play. Trey, let's go to the player props. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with great Osobor to go over his points going up against Air Force. I really love this over for Osobor in this game because we have a lot of great trends here working in our favor. The first trend is that he's coming in this game with some momentum behind him because over the last week of the season, great. He is averaging 19 points per game, but I think that we're going to see him turn that up here to 20 plus points here in this game. That's because of his matchup here versus Air Force. In his only game so far this year versus Air Force, Asabor, he scored 32 points in that game, and I expect him to score a ton here in this one. That's because this is a home game for great, so he's going to be feeling a lot more comfortable here at home, especially with Utah State being ranked. He wants to finish the year strong and ensure that they make the tournament. He wants to ensure that even if they stumble in the conference tournament, they will get an at large bid. So give me a great awesome board to put the team on his back and to go over his points versus Air Force. Yeah, Trey, I like the play there. For my player prop today, it's going to be Jared Lucas of Nevada to go over total points going up against Fresno State. Jared Lucas this season has been the heart and soul of the Nevada Wolfpack. He's scoring 17.4 points per game. He's making 42% of his shots. In the last meeting against Fresno State, he scored exactly 17 points. And I expect his number to be at it, uh, out at 16.5 again in this game to go over that number. I'm going to smash the 16.5 in this spot. He's coming off back-to-back 20-plus point performances against San Jose State and Colorado State, shooting very well in that San Jose State game. But he only made 33% of his shots in the Colorado State game, but it didn't matter. He still scored 23 points. And if we look at the last five games, he's gone over his total point number in five consecutive, scoring 18-plus points in all five of those games. He's been getting it done from deep also over the last five games, making two plus threes in all of those games and shooting above 40% from deep in all those games as well. Fresno State this season, they're not the best defense in the world. They're giving up 73.1 points per game. That's 191st in the nation. They've given up 73 plus points in three consecutive games, 90 points against Boise State in one of those games. And this game's also at home for Nevada, where Lucas is scoring a little bit above his average, 17.7 points per game. He's shooting 42% from deep at home. A shooter who loves his home floor going up against a subpar defense is the best possible thing we can ask for. Give me Jared Lucas to go over his total points against Fresno State as the play. Trey, let's go to that graphic. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with Loyola Chicago here, plus one and a half at home against Dayton. This is going to be a huge game on ESPN2 and ESPN+. Plus. You guys want to tune in, so make sure to do that. And cheer on my pick. Let's go. Also going with great Osabor to go over his points versus Air Force. The dude's just a massive human being, and uh, he's going to take no prisoners against Air Force. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like Brown on the money line at home. I think they're playing the best basketball of the season against Harvard. That's also a win and basically in for the Ivy League tournament. And then give me Jared Lucas over his total points against Fresno State. 17 last time, at least 17 plus this time. Guys, that's going to do it for the NCAA Basketball Plays and Props for Friday. March 1st, Slate of Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. We also have a new game. It's going to be Trey and myself versus the Bear Pack. You can call it pros versus Joes if you want. I don't really like the name because I don't consider us pros. I don't consider you guys Joes. But, Trey, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, this is how you guys play. You're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to hit the community tab. We've been in the community tab a lot this season. Uh, you're going to go to the community tab. We have our plays for the day. 
So obviously the intro is not going to have plays for today, but these are our plays for our next video. It's the Pelicans minus two and a half, the Heat minus five, Quinnipiac minus four and a half, and Wisconsin minus ten and a half. Those are trades in myself's place. What you guys are going to do is pick which one you think will not hit, meaning you're going to fade us, which is pros versus Joes, which is the game called. But you guys are going to try to pick which one is not going to hit. If you guys win, you're going to get a point. If we win, we're going to get a point. We're going to run it Friday through Friday every single week. Whichever team has the most wins, so four to three, six to two, whatever it is, that person or group will win fifty dollars. If the community wins, we're going to do a wheel spin for the community. If we win, I don't know how we're going to get our. I don't know how we're going to get our cheddar, but uh, you guys are just going to have to subscribe, I guess, more. But that's the game. Hopefully, everybody understands it. Trey, let's get into the video. Look at the leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 